morning. Thank you all for tuning in to the channel. I have something very, very exciting for me, and I'm excited to share with you all. I ended up with a new pen today, and it came from, I got this pen from Pen Shallot. Uh, it was provided to them uh, at no cost to me, um, but just a quick disclosure, um, they did provide this pen for me, but I'm not being paid for this review, so whatever I say is whatever I say. These are my opinions, and so yeah, let's get into it. So I got a Narwhal. This is my first Narwhal, or they changed their name recently. Uh, I can't pronounce it, surprisingly, but uh, it's the uh, original, and it's a vacuum filler pen. So this is the pen. It's in purple, and I got it in a stub nib. This is my first stub pen as well, and I'm very excited about this. It's kind of, it's different for me because, it's different, but it's not different because I like vacuum filler pens, but I also like, uh, but I've never had a stub, so I'm just going to give this a shot, um, and we're going to be filling it with a little bit different ink than normal. Um, I'm gonna fill it with a uh, with a Monteverde um, brown sugar because it's fall. So let's get into it. So we'll get to filling this pen. And again, like I said, it was. So we'll get to filling this pen. Like I said, this pen was provided by Pen Shallot, um, and I'm excited to be working with them. Especially with this pen, um, this was suggested to me, and it was something very different for me because I've, like I said, I've never had a narwhal or a stub before. So we're gonna give this a shot. But like I said, this is a vacuum filler pen, and this is the Monteverde Brown Sugar. I have no idea what this ITF technology means with this pen or with this ink. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I haven't used this ink in a long, long time. It's been years since I've used this ink and I've just like had it just hanging out in the closet with the other stuff. So for those who don't know, for a vacuum filler, you unscrew the back and then you pull, it has this rod here. And so you dip it in the ink and you just push. There it is. So just for a quick writing example, we're going to use the trusty Rhodia notebook, notepad in this case. And again, so this will be a test. Also, when you're writing with these, you know, you can leave it unscrewed. So what we'll do is we'll just write the name. This is going to be weird because I don't even know how to do this. pretty cool This is surprisingly like extremely smooth. I didn't think it was gonna be that smooth. And also, this is a comparison too. If you look, this is the Twisby Eco Vac 700R Iris, and that's in a broad nib. And then this is a stub. And so, and then this is the Eco T and a fine. So that's really cool. Um, 
this is I've, I've, as you can see I've even if you watch my videos you can see I've used this exact page for more than one review uh, but we don't waste paper over here well so we will continue <laughs> using this piece of paper until it is completely filled and we will move on to the next but I enjoy this pen I mean I'm gonna use this a lot also I noticed this cool little detail too because I guess because the ink is brown if you look really closely when I filled it up like it's it changes colors so that's pretty cool um, I want to figure out how to get this pen like fully filled too uh, because I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this pen um, but this is just my initial first impressions of the pen. I like it. I like the stub. I never thought that I would like a stub. I just wanted to venture out and try it. This pen is very comfortable to hold in your hand. Um, I don't know if you can post it. I've, I don't really post anymore. Um, but I guess you can. So, yeah, you can post it. It doesn't really, like, stay on. I guess you can like, push it on. And it kind of sticks a little bit. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't really post pins anymore, uh, especially after my whole Monteverde issue where like the back of it cracked. So I don't do a lot of posting anymore pins, but this can be posted. So that's just a quick review of it. Uh, give me some more time to use this pin and just to see how it goes. Because I feel like I want to use this on a daily basis. I got ink in the cap. But I'll get that cleaned out. It's not a problem. Uh, thank you all for watching my videos. And I really appreciate it. And again, thank you to Pen Charlotte for this pen. Um, I can't thank them enough for this. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later.